whatever, and we'd, we'd battle to see who get the skinniest, tiniest tag with the, with the spray can. It was kind of stupid, but we used to like, like get off on doing that, like, oh, look at this tiny ass little, little tag, you know? Um, so we had all those tags up and down. So we would do that a lot. Um, and, you know, going back to the, ta the, the caps, so we used to go to like um, down to Atlantic Square in Monterey Park, and there was a little hobby store there. And we used to go in the hobby store and they used to sell tester cans. And that's where we racked, racked the caps, you know? You had to know which caps to get and all that. Well, it so happened that Tempt One used to work at that, at that hobby shop, you know? Um, rest in peace, Tempt. But um, we used to go in there and everyone knew that he, that he was a writer, like all the writers knew, but, you know? And he was very low pro about, you know, you couldn't call him Tempt or anything. Or, and, you know, we didn't know him. We were just like, oh, that's Tempt, man. We were like, ooh, that dude's like, there's a legend right there. He was already a legend, you know? And this is like in the late 80s, right? And so uh, we'd go in there, and, and he knew what we were doing. He knew we were getting caps or whatever, but he, he wouldn't say anything or he, he, whatever. And then he, he'd tell us certain things afterwards. Like we'd, we'd come to the, to the front and say something like, oh, I'm going to buy this or buy that. And then he'd be like, yeah, you're right, huh? And he'd say this and that. And um, so he, he was cool. You know, he was one of the first, uh, like, big writers that I met you know, kind of accidentally. Um, and I remember another time, right down the street from there, there was a, there was a Standard Brands with, where we used to buy spray paint. Before Home Depot and all that, it was Standard Brands. So um, we'd go to Standard Brands, and, but they had the 99 cent cans and all that. So we'd go there. And I remember one day I'm, I'm looking for some paint, and I turn in the paint aisle, and there's Tempt, Stands, and Cab, you know? And on the all FB crew and uh, LOD or whatever, and uh, and I was like, oh man! And I remember I got so nervous. I was like, oh man! Like I was trying to buy some 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 uh, some true blue Krylon spray paint, and I, and I was asking for for true black, because I got so nervous. I was like, hey, you guys know where there's any true black? <laughs> and obviously, ultra flat black is what we used to use back then. But I was like nervous because I was like, man, these guys are dope. I know who these guys are. I didn't even introduce myself or anything. Um, but I remember that was the first time I, I saw like like a small group of, of dope writers, um, and everyone used to go to the standard brands and rack paint and do whatever. So, you know, there was only certain spots in LA where you can get paint. People don't know this, but if you wanted to get dope colors, we'd go to to Rampage Hardware in Hollywood, and so that was like a dope spot. Um, but it was hard to rack paint there, you know. But they had every color, so if you wanted dope colors, you went there. But if you wanted to rack paint, you had to go like little mom and pop shops like all over the city. And so, um, you know, we'd go and, and rack paint for days. You know, I mean, that's the way we had, you had to, because I didn't have a job, I hadn't made, had, no, had no money. And so we had to rack paint, you know, and that's how we did it. How would you steal your paint? Can you reveal that for us? Yeah, so, so one time, I, the biggest come up I ever did on, on racking paint was when I was, you know, I was hanging out with a friend. Um, he used to write arson. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of arsons, but this guy used to write arson and, and he eventually became a DJ with Fly ID, uh, but he was at my school. He's one of the kids that, that showed me the ropes about, like, piecing and, and stuff like that. And so um, he's like, uh, his name was Damien, and he's like, yo, um, you want to get some paint? I know, I know a spot. And I was like, let's go. And so, like I said, I went to school in La Cañada, which is a, you know, super white community, <laughs> you know, uppity community. And right down on Foothill, there was a mom and pop shop right there. And um, we walked in there, and yo, they had all the colors, like right by the door, all the colors. I couldn't believe it. I was like, "What? What is this?" So I walked in. He uh, he stayed back. He had a he had a he had a jeep. He stayed back. I walked in. I started like you know talking to the old man and telling him this, this, and that, whatever, whatever. While he's paying attention to me, homeboy walks in with the big ass duffel bag, just starts loading up, and he's like hiding underneath, just loading up, loading up. Well, um, I guess he finished. Um, I was like, all right, told the man, I'll be back. So then we switched spots. So he walks to the old man. As I walk out, I just grab the duffel bag, you know, without him seeing, just grab the duffel bag, just kept walking. Went right to the car, put all the paint in there. 